The newest versions of Adobe InDesign now offer column spanning and splitting, which make working with text and columns and boxes much easier by eliminating separate text boxes and helping clean up extemporaneous items in your layout. Let's begin with the uh, splitting portion of the columns spanning and splitting available in the newer versions of Adobe InDesign. All right, I've got six list items here, and I have a lot of extra space. Uh, a lot of designers will go to the end here, put in a tab, cut and paste an item, move it up. Now I can split items um, or information within a column into separate subcolumns. I'll just go ahead and select these six list items here that I have bulleted. We'll go over here to this tool, which is the span columns down here in the uh, very end of the toolbar. I'll go ahead and drop down and tell it to split two. You can now see that these list items are split into two columns. If I move the text box around, those columns move with it. I can uh, treat them as any other paragraph of text by adding some space before and some space after to make them stand out. Uh, this is a really handy way of dealing with small tables of information where you might not want to create a table um, or save some layout space to copy fit. I'll be the first to admit that I am a lazy designer. Um, I don't like dealing with multiple text boxes. Yes, it takes a little bit of thought up front, but um, spanning columns actually saves you some work because if you need to resize columns, boxes, things like that, your title will go along with it. To me, this is just an extra text box that needs to live on the page, and if I need to move things around, it becomes another shift click, you know, to grab more items. So we can span columns and make this title ride with the other columns inf of information. So let's go ahead and just take this out of here. We will delete this box altogether, and I'll go ahead and paste my title in here. You can see my list items are still moving around. I do have probably some text cut off there. But now I can go into the same palette for spanning columns and tell this to span all of the columns. The title now runs with the box inside. I've got an extra space here. I'll take that out and I'll go ahead and apply some space before, which will move everything down. I think this is a pretty efficient way to work. Um, if I change my box, notice that the title stays in the span area. Or if I decide that I need to kind of force my layout a little tighter because I have too much copy, that column is going to stay there, everything's going to redress, and I only have one text box to deal with. It's a pretty handy feature. 